What's up guys, back with another Honkai Star video, and we're going to talk about should you buy the third Nameless Honor Battle Pass. So, first things first, Battle Pass is the exact same for the most part. You get your fuel, you get your character XP books, you get your light cone XP, you get your relic XP. Obviously it's not as much as the other two, unfortunately, and you get credit. So all good stuff for your character, even are able to pick materials for leveling up traces or light cones so overall really really good you just get a bunch of materials that you'd have to farm over and over and it's really nice to get that obviously you get more and better rarity if you spend money which is to what 10 usd and then 20 usd for the more expensive bonus one this time along the bonuses are of course the 200 color jades five fuel 10 levels in the battle pass instantly and then you get the dinner party blade and dinny parter sorry <laughs> uh, english i'm sorry dinner party kafka now as you can see i've already bought this because i really like kafka i'm gonna summon for her and i like the icon so i was like you know what? i'm gonna buy it i'm assuming going forward now that we have the don hang march uh himiko welt out of the way we're probably just going to get whoever's out. So since the next banner is the um, Don Hang and Fushuan, we're probably going to get icons for them. Maybe at some point we might get uh, Jingyun and Zele on there along with Silverwolf and Locha, but I'm not too sure when they will be able to sneak that in. Maybe when they rerun, they can sneak their icons in. Hopefully we get them eventually, but right now it is Kafka and Blade. Overall, I don't recommend getting this unless you really like the icon as the fuel and the jades aren't really enough to warrant spending an extra $10. But if you would like the icon, I'd say go ahead and get it. So the next big thing is, of course, going to be the free light cones that you get. Now, personally, the only ones that I will ever get are going to be today is another peaceful day for irradiation, the carve the moon, weave the clouds for harmony and the abundance one because i do not have the funny natasha i'm sure you've seen the ad a million times you know on youtube or whatever twitter instagram i'm sure they have it on everywhere but i don't have that one yet so i'm using this one this can have some funny procage when you use a basic attack it heals so if you're doing similar to universe you can get the heal passives to proc with basic attacking which i think is pretty funny but there are ones better than this so really once i get these three it's pretty much how badly do i want to get dupes for them as i don't really care for the other ones i guess the preservation one is okay in my opinion but i don't really like these three besides you can get the free five star hunt and destruction one that are way better than this and then the last one is nihility and i don't like this effect really at all i'd rather just use the free silver wolf one that we got but if you don't have any of these yet i'd recommend if you are going to at least grabbing one of these two these are probably the best too if you don't have anything better this one i think is best in slot for her funny enough i mean it has her on it but regardless of that it's really how much materials you need for leveling up characters if you're behind i think it's worth it if you have a bunch of characters built you're not struggling for resources and you already have good light cones there's probably no point in really buying it unless you're actively spending money but i do think it is one of the better purchases in the game I think if you're going to light spend getting the, um, what should we call it, the login bonus, I forgot the actual name for it, the login bonus and the battle pass is probably your best bet. So I'd recommend light spenders to get it. But don't worry if you are free to play, you still get the top rewards and it's still rather nice. It's just a bit better if you spend money. The main thing that you want from this is the self modeling resin, which you get for free. So free to play players don't have to stress out too much. You are missing out on, you know, a big chunk of materials and you get some premium currency uh like right here you get the premium special passes but it's not that big of a loss if you can't afford the ten dollars i'd say go for it definitely a good investment i'm assuming the battle pass will probably be a good investment for a while especially if you're not a day one player if you're a day one player there'll probably come a time where you're only buying the battle pass for the summons the fuel and the light cone but other than that, that would be it for the video of today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more Honkai Star content. And yes, you should buy the Battle Pass if you can afford it, of course. Never spend money that you can't afford losing. But anyway, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.